It looks like someone's still living here. Pardon me. Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my dig site now. Go away. I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. I was. Obviously, now I'm not. Not feeling very friendly today, are we? I like solitude. It helps me think. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land, and how they never set foot upon it. Ha! <laughs> After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they've ever tailed by ghosts. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, John? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. He was stopped by a force field put here by beings not of this earth. Hmm, that's fascinating, Doctor. Why did these beings show up here? I am convinced that these travelers came to Earth to form colonies like Atlantis, using Hyperborea as a spaceport. Up north here, we're close to the ether. It's a perfect landing site. So what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? Right, the Yastro expedition, the one you're about to work on. Recently I saw pieces from it, pieces that are clearly Atlantean. I see. Somebody must have been selling them. Go ahead, blame it all on me. So you completely discount the supernatural? Completely, if it's supernatural you want. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow. But very clever. And Philippe Costa in the Azores Islands. As a researcher, he's a farce, but he's a sharp trader. Meanwhile, I've got an Atlantean artifact right in front of me. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. Talk to Sternhardt and Costa. So long. Good luck, fellow believer. Listen. Yes? I think the good doctor's got frostbite of the brain. I'll say, spaceport my eye. Cold enough for you? Even colder than my feelings towards you, Jones. What do we do now? Let's find Costa and Sternhardt. Let's head for the airport. I don't see anything special about it. Hmm. 
It looks like a jungle rodent. It's a snake. I hate snakes. I can't talk to that bird from here. That critter's too far away. Mother Nature. I don't think that'll work. I can't talk to that bird from here. Can't move it. It looks pretty flexible. Wow, some bridge. Hi, Indy. Hello. How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. Let's look around. Okay.
Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Oh. Echo. Echo. Oh. Hullabaloo. And Tyler too. Oh. Bye bye, Birdie. Bye bye, Birdie. Oh. Just a minute. That's my shop. Can I help you with something? Postcard? Replicas of the temple? Souvenir mugs? Uh, no thanks, Mr. Charles Sternhardt, PhD, independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. What can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. I'd worry you were here to steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Oh no! What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? He showed up last week, a tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs, but he only wanted the Lost Dialogue. What can you tell us about the temple? Glad you asked. The locals claim my Indians built it. Now I ask you, does this look like the work of primitive savages, or does it seem much too civilized? I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. Evidence is easy. You're surrounded by it. Proof? Now that's hard. Does that mean we came to the wrong place? I've pretty much lost hope myself, but old legends and rumors die hard. What kind of rumors? Local legend has it that the temple was built by men who are not men. What are men who are not men? I've heard everything from giant men with snakes for tails to giant snakes with men for heads. You actually believe Atlanteans lived here? After the city sank, this is where they came, I'm sure. Can we take a look inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or, or possibly a cat. Actually, it was the name of a dog. Sophia! I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. <coughs> The Socrates. Socrates! Ah! Too bad, old bloke. That's not the answer. Ah! Socrates? Socrates! A famous philosopher! Ah! Listen. Yes? What do we do now? We could talk to Sternhardt again, or we could move on. Stop! I'm begging your pardon, you can't go in there. The temple isn't safe. Listen. Yes. I'd really like to explore the temple. 
Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. I don't know the title. Plato! Obviously, you're not serious about this. Title? Hermocrates! A friend of Socrates! A monument to the genius of the Mayans. Stop! Excuse me, the temple isn't open to the public. Listen. Yes? About exploring the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. The Hermocrates. That's it. That's it. <laughs> well now, perhaps I was wrong. You seem to know what you're doing. Walk this way, please. I don't trust this guy, Indy. I know what you mean. Come on. Here we are. Let's see what you can do. Looks like it could use a nose. Can I talk to you, Sophia? What's up? Could you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Sternhardt, I'd like to speak to you. This one looks different, more deeply etched. Engraved symbols of water and life. Good thing that pest Sternhardt's not around. Excuse me, won't you? Let's see what your friend is up to. The kerosene won't pour out. So, you took my lamp, eh? I hope you know what you're doing. Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Remarkable! Now I got it. Marvelous! It fits perfectly. Now it looks kind of like an elephant. Amazing! Look at that! Astonishing! Bless my soul, the tomb of an Atlantean king! Here's a small stone disc with images of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a world stone. At last I have the thing. Goodbye, fellow seekers. Wait! Oh no, he got away! Looks like a bead of orichalcum. Too bad for Sternhardt. He missed the orichalcum bead. Let's find the airport. <laughs>